All right, here's Coach Kendrea. Coach. Initial thoughts on the bracket today, Coach? Hey, at, at this time of the year, it's uh, if you're in the bracket, then um, that's all you worry about. You know, <laughs> I, I don't take this moment for granted, and I'm glad that we're at home. Um, I think the bracket's good, and, and you know, if we are fortunate enough to get the job done here, then I don't mind going on the road to Arkansas. So. Coach, in the past, you um, said the Pac-12 is not really interested in a tournament. Yeah. Um, and uh, just, just that you thought maybe the SEC tournament kind of impresses the committee. Do you see anything to an advantage to that at all? You know, I don't know. Um, the, the way things are nowadays, um, you could be absolutely right. Um, with the, the influence that ESPN has on our game is, is, is getting, um, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I, 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 I was okay for a while there, but then um, I, I just, cause I, I do a ranking every week uh, for USA softball. And um, so I kind of compare what my rankings were. And today I just did one and, and I, I just, the first five, I was pretty accurate. And then after that, man, it was like, how can Washington be a 16 seed? You know, and um, that hurts. And then, how, I, you know, and then to send Oregon to Texas, come on. But I don't mean anything. <laughs> you know, all I do is coach here and um, – yeah, but you know, for for our sake, at at this stage of the game, you you're going to have an opponent. You're going to have to play good softball. You're going to have to beat your opponent. And if, like I told the girls, you got 21 outs every game, you got to take advantage of every 21 outs, whether it's offense or defense. And and um, if you're good enough, you're going to get there. You know, so it's it's why we compete. And and um, there's all kinds of challenges. One year, I I was sent to Florida State. You know, and back in the day thought, why the hell am I going to Florida state? But and it turned out to be a, a, a great thing because we were playing in Atlanta that year in Georgia. And um, we ended up going to Florida state, winning that regional and drove over to Georgia and won a national championship. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for our kids. Um, I think they're battle tested right now. Um, some things haven't gone the way we would like. Uh, but usually that doesn't happen. Um, I think any good team's going to have to go through some ups and downs throughout the year to get strong. And, and um, I, my biggest concern right now is just get them ready to play this game with some confidence and and take care of the details and and then go out and compete and have fun. You know, that's all you can do. So Kelly Anua Perez had some choice words for the committee. Um, she's a little bit more outspoken than a lot of coaches, but. Uh, what, what do you think of, she brought up the four games that you guys played in conference schedule as, as yeah. kind of, that was not recognized by the committee. What do you no. think about that? Because yeah. it seemed like the conference made an extra effort to really get those games in. Yeah, it was, um, it, it, it's, it's just, I, I wish I was in the room to, to hear the conversations, um, which makes it tough for me to, to say things, but I know our conference and I know our conference is much better than what, uh, what, what it was shown today. And um, it, it, it irritates me. You know, I mean, I kind of felt like Washington when they walked out. I thought that was just uh, probably the right thing to do at that time because it just doesn't make sense. And there's just, there's too much influence right now and too much self-promoting that, that somehow the Pac-12 is going to have to wake up and we're going to find a way to, to, to match that. And I just really believe that... Um, Throughout the years right now, the, the Pac-12 network hasn't really helped um, our case. Um, and um, we just, we need to look at what do we need to do to get our people in front of everyone else, you know, the audience that needs to be in front of. And to me, that's, that's the, the next step in our conference right now is to fix what we have because it's, it's broken right now. It is a conference of champions, but you can't just sit on a conference of champions. We've got to do much more. And when I turn on um, the SEC network, they've got a, a, a show that looks like ESPN and they've got every highlight of every game going on in baseball and softball. I mean, it's a big production and obviously that's going to catch eyes. 
And unfortunately, you know, you turn on a Pac-12 network right now and all you see is a bunch of replays of, of games that have already been done. And, and people are smart enough right now to know that because of social media. They're, they're pretty updated on things. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty prehistoric right now. And we need to do something to fix it. Anybody else have any questions for coach? Uh, quick thoughts on Janelle winning freshman of the year. Well, in the yeah, Pac-12. Well, very, very well deserving. I mean, to, to, to be the best freshman in the Pac-12 is an honor in itself and quite a challenge. And for her, um, I'm just so, so excited and so pleased with her performance this year. Um, she was a kid that, that, um, you know, in the recruiting process, kind of flew under the radar a little bit. But every time I went out there, she was on base and making some things happen. And and I tell you what, she has uh, improved tremendously. And uh, I give a lot of credit to Caitlin. Um, she, she reminds me a lot like Caitlin with her skill set. And um, to see what she did this year to be number one, the batting average, the, the batting champ and uh, freshman of the year is pretty phenomenal. Coach Candrea, congrats on uh, hosting. Are you going to ha handle your, the pitching any differently than maybe you had in previous seasons when possibly only had two pitchers who you felt were at a level to compete at the highest, with the highest teams? Well, you got three and, and uh, you, you did things yeah. a little different this past weekend. No, I, I like that question. And, and yes, that is definitely something that um, um, I experimented with some things this weekend. Some of it worked, some of it didn't work. Um, but yeah, we, we, in, in today's game, it's really hard to throw someone out there and think that they're going to they're going to be able to get through a lineup three times, and um, maybe that's why Major League Baseball has a you know a, a middle reliever and then a, a closer. But I think softball is kind of getting to that point where you just got to show them different looks, and it's hard because when a kid's cruising and and um, they're getting the job done, it seems like things happen very quickly in our game, and so. Yes, we, we talked about it. We thought about it. Um, I think Hannah Bowen is is a competitor and ready to compete. I thought Denham looked good. The, the game she threw with um, um, on uh, Friday night. Um, and I think Devin Nets came in and showed us that she can come in and give us an inning here and there. Um, but is she ready to throw three or four innings? Probably not. Um, so, yeah, that's that's our challenge. And it's it's. It is a really difficult thing to, especially in softball, to handle um, a pitching staff and be able to know when to when to make that change and when not to. And I think we just need to be a little bit quicker at at maybe um, giving people another look. But UCLA was a, it's a whole different animal. I mean, there's not many teams that are going to be one through nine as as solid as they are, and they're a really good hitting team, and and that that presents a challenge. But we're going to see some others, so. I think we have some options, you know, if I do something and it works and I look great, if it doesn't work, then I don't look good. So I've got, I got big shoulders. I've been in it for a long time and we, we, we don't have the Jenny Finch that can run through or the Taryn Mowat that threw every inning of a world series. You know, no one was asking that question back then. Um, it was just what we had and what we needed to do. And I think sometimes that's what I think people don't understand. What is our next, best option is and is that a better option than what we have out there right now um but um i think we've learned a little bit to be honest with you and um yeah hopefully we will we will make the right decisions and get this team back where we want them all right good luck on friday thank you appreciate it mariah had a pretty good game against ucla yeah. yesterday uh four really good innings yeah. uh although she she had struggled this year. She seems to have fixed that. Is that kind of like a secret weapon going into this tournament in terms of yeah, I, now? I think, yeah, I think as you listen to people talk, they don't mention her name right now. And and but Mariah's a, a very good pitcher, and I think she just needed to get her mind right and um, get some confidence. And I thought if there was a positive out of this weekend, that was one of them. You know, for her to throw as well as she did, uh, I'm really happy with that. So you know, going in, I think we have four pitchers that that we can use. Um, and it's just a matter of putting zeros on the board. You know, we have 21 outs. They have 21 outs. We just got to make their 21 outs um, not, not successful and make ours successful. Anybody else? Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.
Thank you, guys. Guys and girls. Go ahead with questions for Jesse. So initial thoughts from the brackets today. You know, I try not to think too much going into it because at the end of the day, you never know. Anything that I could have wasted my breath over thinking about, stressing about, it's not in my hands, not in our team's hands. At the end of the day, it comes down to their decision. Um, but we're excited. I'm so thankful to get the first round here. Um, Got to take care of business here first, and then we'll see where we're off to next. But I'm excited to get the opportunity to play at home again. Um, I didn't want UCLA to be the last series at home, so I'm thankful for that. And I'm ready to get going. Do you have any thoughts about the, the Pac-12 only getting one team in the top eight? It seems like I know as players, you have a lot of pride in your conference. Yes, I love the Pac-12 and I want to continue to see the Pac-12 grow. Um, I know there's a lot of love that goes to the SEC. Um, unfortunately, that's just how it is. And it's out of our control. Um, I To me, it seemed like the SEC tournament and ACC tournament had a lot to factor into these um, the rankings and stuff like that. Um, I mean, we all watched the SEC tournament. They duped it out out there, but um, it is what it is at the end of the day. I'd love to see the Pac-12 better represented. Um, I was a little surprised that Washington was the 16th seed. Didn't see that one coming. But at the end of the day, we get more games to play, and we're going to try and make it as far as we possibly can. You guys get Ole Miss again in the Tucson Regional. Um, obviously very familiar with that team. I don't know if there's still a lot of players from that team, but um, what do you like about that matchup? What makes Ole Miss a competitive opponent? I'm actually excited. Um, let's beat them again here. Um, let's make it really hurt. No, just kidding. Uh, no, I, at the end of the day, we have to take care of the first game, um, get past that game and we're good to go, but taking it one game at a time, one pitch at a time, um, I'm sure Ole Miss is going to come out here with some little bit of vengeance because that's where their season ended um, two years ago. But we just have, we're not playing the name game. We're just playing Arizona softball, going to take it how it goes. Um, but I'm just thankful to be back at Rita for this week. And um, it, whoever we have to play, we have to win to keep going. So that's our goal is just to keep going. I'm heading into the postseason. What do you feel like the area, the, what, are, what do you think the areas are that your team has to improve the most? I think we just have to continue to play our game, uh, not let the pressure get too much to us, um, really rely on our teammates. Um, obviously, it's clear that we have to make sure that everyone's hitting to help produce runs for our pitchers. Our pitchers are working their butts off in the circle for us, so we need to be able to produce um, and score runs for them. That's been what we've been struggling with. But um, at the end of the day, we just have to continue to play our game, have trust in ourselves, um, do the little things right, pass the bat. Um, but that's just what we're going to do. We're going to have to pitch better. We're going to have to hit better. We need to hit and support runs for our pitchers because at the end of the day, you got to score to win. Um, Mariah was talking yesterday about how players can find a different gear in the postseason. Do you feel like this that that is uh, really applicable to this team just because you guys have, have you know, a couple of years ago you were in the Women's College World Series? Yes, well, we just have to be thankful. We, thankful we have more games. Coach was saying, do not take this moment for granted. Uh, we had to work hard to get to where we are right now. Um, we have more games to play, so we're just thankful for that, um, taking it one game at a time. But definitely, we kind of hit a turning point out in Oregon. Um, we gave UCLA run for their money that one game. We were able to respond back after the first night. Um, but we just have to know we have time left. Enjoy and make memories with our teammates. For some of us, this is it for our college series. Uh, college careers. Um, so we just have to make the most of it and go out and give it our all. I asked coach this yesterday and he gave a pretty good response. I want to see your response. Your team obviously has struggled on the road, but it seemed like in that Oregon series, you put some things together. Why do you think you guys have improved on the road and how do you think it's going to help you if chalk holds and you have to play Arkansas? I honestly don't think of it as we're struggling on the road as meaning the road is any difficult for us to play rather than at home. I just think that we weren't playing our best games maybe on the road. That has nothing to do with traveling. Um, we have a pretty solid mindset when we go on travel games. Um, we have solid routine. Um, yes, it's been different because of COVID and the regulations. We haven't been able to eat all together and things like that. But at the end of the day, it's still softball. You need to be able to produce wherever you're playing. So the road game shouldn't really matter at the end of the day. And that's how I see it. Um, I mean, 
I'm happy we're gonna play here, but in order to win on, that's what you have to do is order to win on the road is to continue to play your game as if you're playing in front of your fans and just do it what you can. But I'm excited to start off here and we're gonna see how far we can go. Cause at the end of the day, I wanna win on the road and that's winning at uh, the World Series in Oklahoma City. Does anybody else have any questions for Jesse? They're not going to like this question, um, but obviously with the, the home run chase and everything that, you know, we always ask you about it, but now that you're in the postseason, you're going to get more questions from national media and, and things like that. How do you kind of put that aside even more now because it is the postseason and obviously winning is way more important than anything else? Yeah, at the end of the day, it comes down to as long as my home runs help win, my team win, help get, relieve the pitcher from some stress that they may be having, um, putting runs on the scoreboard, that's what we need. We need runs to win. So if my home run helps, that's awesome. But right, right now, I'm not worried about breaking the record. I'm worried about beating the first team that walks in here um, and we're going to try and make it as far as we possibly can. At the end of the day, I want to try and do as best I can for my teammates, and that's all that matters is that we can make it far. <laughs> Anybody else have anything else? Okay. Also, did you see that bunt? That bunt was pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Here is the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year. Questions? So, Janelle, how excited are you for postseason softball? This is going to be your first experience in that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it a lot, um, especially because we have such great leadership in our senior class, and they've all been there before. And just learning from them in every opportunity, um, I'm really looking forward to playing with them, especially in the postseason. I guess this will be your first time playing in, in the postseason in college. What are you most looking forward to? Um, I think just playing with the seniors. Um, it's their last season and they've, they've really helped me grow. And I just can't wait to play with them in their final games. Um, what, do, what do you think about the Pac-12 only getting one team in the top eight? I know you got you guys regard the conference as probably the best in the country and to, to not see them represented um, in the top eight. What do you, what do you think about that? Um, I think it's kind of a shocker. Um, there's a lot of SEC teams, SEC teams at the top, which is kind of surprising for me, but I don't know how they figured it out and ranked us in that way. Um, and, and you have an SEC team in your regional, and then if you advance, you might face an SEC team in the next round. I mean, do you, are you guys kind of carrying a, a chip on your shoulder heading into the postseason just for that reason as well? Um, I mean, well, right now we're focused on this regional, and yeah, we have an SEC team, but coach is telling us to play it, take it one game at a time. So not looking too far ahead, focused on the one game we have right now. So nine, nine, of your, nine of your losses this season came by two or less runs. Uh, did you guys have any time to think about what could have been this season if, if those games had just gone the other way? Um, I mean, I don't think we can dwell on the past. It happened. And we can only control what we can control right now. And that's just these next games coming up that we have. And then on that note, what did you learn from being in so many close games? Even if you ended up on the losing head, what you what you learn from that? Um, I think if I did learn anything, a lot of those games were high pressure situations and just slowing the game down and um, being able to play my game has it's helped me a lot because when it gets to postseason and the bigger games, the bigger moments. I think I'm able to relax better and slow my game down. Your team was the only team to score two runs off of Rachel Garcia this season. And then you guys got to her, uh, scored a run in the last game, got some opportunities. How much does that give you guys confidence going into the postseason, knowing you've already faced one of the top pitchers and you've succeeded in? You know, you're going to face top pitching, but you've been in those moments. How much confidence can you draw from that? Yeah, I think that's one of the positives we can take away from this last weekend is that we can hit good pitching. We just need to string it together and we can like we can hit good pitching. What would you say the reaction was um from your team when you saw the, the bracket? It seemed like on TV, you guys didn't have a, you weren't like celebrating. I mean, was that kind of a, a sign that you kind of just expect to be at this point? No, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're all really happy that we're able to play at home. All the seniors are able to 
play at home one more time. Um, we may not show it, but we are really excited and happy. What was your reaction when you found out you won Pac-12 Freshman of the Year? Um, well, Danny told me yesterday and I was walking out, I was about to go see my family and I think I was kind of like taken back. I would say I was kind of like, <gasps> like, I don't know. I, that was my initial reaction, but I am, it does make me really happy, I guess. Anything else? Okay, thanks, Janelle. Thank you.